1967, at the age of 11, I lay at night alone in the dark on the floor of our living room listening to Gregarian chants, phonograph recordings of my mother's cantorum, the choir of which she was a member at the Basilica of St. Mary's in downtown Minneapolis. Alone in the dark, I saw myself 10 years in the future, draped in a white Cossack, followed down the cold stone aisle by two altar boys. Traced with incense was the cool cathedral air. It was humid in Minnesota that summer. The summer of love on the California coast was a moist, mosquito-harassed season in the land of 10,000 lakes. But it was cool on the floor, so I would lie shirtless on the carpet and surrender my skin to the sonorous sounds, wake upon wake of mounting waves through which I tunneled and imagined myself as a priest. Sanctuary. I was no Afro-pessimist at the age of 11, and my knowledge of what gave me so much anxiety was bereft of a critical race vocabulary. But I knew I was black, not because smells of filet powder and smoked sausage thickening in a gumbo roux waft from my house and no other in the neighborhood, but because we were the only ones they called Negroes. I would not be black until the following year, 1968, when I turned 12. In the dark, at 11, lying on the living room floor, I knew I was a Negro, not due to my cultural accoutrement, but because it was my source of shame, a shame not shared with the neighbors. The, Gregor the Gregorian chants trembled in my chest, extending the darkness in long, hollow catacombs that stretched through me and out the other side where I saw myself occurring in the future, a future where I was revered by, by my parishioners instead of shunned, as I was in the first grade by a little girl who wouldn't hold my hand for fear my soot would stain her. In the sound tunnel of my future, the children and my teachers genuflicted when I passed. They stood and knelt on my command. They confessed their sins to me before being worthy of the body of Christ. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I wouldn't hold his hand because his soot would, run off, would rub off on me. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I called him a monkey when he climbed up the rope in gym class. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Between my teeth and my upper lip, I wedged my tongue and scratched my armpits when he climbed down the rope. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned, for we have sinned. We laughed. Bless me, Father, for we have sinned. We pressed his face in the snow. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I called him friend and brought him home to my mother's curiosity.